everyone clean. You know, hope that you don't make contact with anyone around you and, and at least get to the back stretch. So you worry about turn one first and then worry about the other 79 turns later. Exactly. I mean, that, that's, that's the best way to approach it. Okay, Stephen Chapman in car number 44. He gets off to a lightning bolt start. Right there with him is Buddy Charette in car number 28. On the outside, Derek Devis, the youngster. Uh, one car does not come up to speed. Devis does. Back paddling is Chapman. So he goes from first to fourth. It looked like Chapman had a problem over there in turn two. The car just didn't fire off. And right now he is on life support. Getting around him is Nathan Pitko. So uh, hugging the inside lane is Stephen Chapman. And out in front is Derek Debus. And uh, trying to challenge him, it's Glenn Corner. Glenn Corner has now raced all season long, has uh, come back to the World Series, and he is caught a fruit speedball a couple weeks ago. He'll be restarting six. So uh, what are you looking for from Debus on this restart? Why is the outside such an advantage? Uh, here at Thompson for years, the outside has been the, the preferred lane, but he gets, he gets beat on it. I think he's probably tires, Matt. He has had trouble on restarts all season long, and right now, going into the lead is Glenn Corner, car number 27, as he blockbusters his way to the lead, and now Debus is back up to speed. Yeah, Debus' car, kind of, there's something wrong. Maybe, maybe he can't shift it. It might be stuck in gear. But once it's up to speed, it is fast. He missed a shift earlier this year in a battle at Stafford and lost the win to Alexander Pearl. But he has got it back by a teardrop. Now Corner has the advantage. Keep an eye on Tyler Chapman in car number 41. He is moving up to the front runners. Yeah, Corner's car is definitely handling well on the outside. Got a little bit loose there, but uh, Debus isn't going to let that happen too many times without taking advantage. Well, let's see if he goes down low. Yesterday in the qualifying heat, Debus got the ball. Oh! And contact between he and uh, Corner, and Corner winds up in John Deere country. Team divisions, you never know. And uh, it's so exciting. There's every form of racing on the East Coast here. And there was there any uh, c c division that you wanted to be in, but uh, never uh, got a chance? No, no, really. I'm kind of a spoiled brat. Right now, it is Chapman trying to take over the lead. He restarted on the inside, and here comes Buddy Charette climbing to the outside to move into the lead. O'Sullivan, Johnny O is on the go, moving into the top three, and he is able to firecracker his way to the outside of Chapman. Also on the move is Sean Tebow getting the best of Derek Devis, who is trying to climb from the rear of the field. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see uh, Devis stay back there too long. He's got a good race car. He's got plenty of time. He's just going to be smart. Remember, this is a 20-lap feature, 15 laps to go. And O'Sullivan going to work on the outside. Chapman getting bogged down a little bit. That car uh, slithers on him. Buddy Short has a lead, but in his hip pocket is Johnny O'Sullivan. And now Chapman in third, Sean Tebow getting a little Woody Woodpecker action from Devis. Here comes Tebow down low to take third. Johnny uh, O'Sullivan going after the lead. They cross the line and leading by one-tenth of a second is Buddy Charette. Well, things got close. Look at Derek Davis. Uh, Rick, he is looking for room underneath Tebow, and right now he can't find any. Yeah, you know, Derek's just trying to be really careful because uh, you, know, you don't need a two-strike rule. He doesn't need anything to happen off his front bumper for a second time. Well, he wanders to the outside, looking for help from the outside banking. Now, a jackknife move, trying to get underneath Tebow. Johnny O'Sullivan at the front of the field. He is playing the back bumper of Charette's tie like a xylophone. Tyler Chapman coming back to life in car number 41. The top three cars could fit in a Cheerio as they go into turn two. Yeah, Tyler Chapman's car appears to be getting stronger as they go. He started out, it looked a little bit loose to me, but the car is definitely getting better. And right now in fourth is Tebow. Here comes Devis as he goes downstairs to try to boogie with his way underneath Tebow. That is a great battle for fourth. And I think the advantage will be won by Devis, but here comes Tebow. He got momentum coming off the corner. Meanwhile, pestering the back bumper of our leader, Buddy Charette, Johnny O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan goes down low. And here is Chapman crowding the back bumper of O'Sullivan. 
so the top three could fit in a lobster claw. And the big man at the front of the field is Buddy Charette. But O'Sullivan trying to have something to say about that. Uh, O'Sullivan keeps hoping into the uh, end of turn three over there just to try to get in his head. But uh, I'll tell you, Charette's doing a good job ignoring it. As Charette has won here in the late models, never in an open wheel car. And here's Tyler Chapman as he tried to barnstorm his way underneath O'Sullivan. He couldn't get it done. O'Sullivan, a little Morse code on the back bumper of the Charette car. Dennis, it took him a while, but he finally gets underneath T-Bull, so that was a pretty ferocious battle. And now Debus has cleared the 56. Does he have enough time? Less than seven laps to go. Here's O'Sullivan for the lead. Yeah, that, that was a bold move for O'Sullivan. And that's not really the, the best way to make that one work for you. As he tried it, and now he is back in the second, so he came up empty. And we'll see if the 56, earlier today, he had the strongest car, and he is running out of time. They'll have five laps to go when they get to the line. Buddy Schwartz doing everything he needs to do. He's taking away the top lane, and he's running his own race, and you know, good for him. And O'Sullivan has tried the bottom line, and he gets even with uh, Charette, but can't get by him. What would you try if you were John O'Sullivan? Well, I mean, I have to root for Buddy Charette. If you see the rear quarter panels, it says pull above it, doesn't it? I mean, it, it shouldn't that be my favorite, Matt? Yes, uh, Rick Fuller won many races with the Polar Beverages sponsorship. And now it is Johnny Owens going to attack again, trying to tomahawk his way underneath Charette. Yeah, he missed time that pass. He, he almost turned the leader, and that certainly isn't what he wanted to do. Tyler Chapman running strong in third. Dennis now is caught up to the top three. It is T-Ball in fourth. We are down to the final two and a half laps. We'll see if Buddy Charette can hold on. He is getting another assault from Johnny O'Sullivan. Yeah, and, and Johnny's not going to be able to make this work unless uh, Charette gets loose. And so far, that hasn't happened. As Charette is back, protecting his first goal. Oh. for Chapman, hitting the wall hard. You know, it looks like it's cleaned up as well as I would like it to be if I was on the front row and the first one through it, but we're going to see in a second here. Okay, it will be O'Sullivan on the inside, but your leader is Buddy Charette. Buddy Charette looking for his first open wheel win ever. Let's see what happens as a stampede off the corner, and it is Buddy Charette. Slowly but surely, he is able to jitterbug his way into the lead. Yeah, he hasn't got him cleared yet. Now they're in a critical spot. And it is O'Sullivan who's able to grab the lead. And Tebow moves into second. Yeah, O'Sullivan hit that speedy drive right in the perfect spot. And now Tebow trying to gain second over Charette. One lap away from victory. Johnny O'Sullivan heading into turn number two in a hurry. The battle for second and third on the outside. Charette by a nostril. Pitko in fourth. Here comes Johnny O'Sullivan as he is able to block us around a turn number four for the final time. Johnny O will chalk up the win. Charette gets by Tebow for second. T-Bow in third, Pitko fourth, Ethan DeRosher fifth. Uh, I was really hoping to get some clean air, and uh, my spotter, Brandon, he's the best, and he just talked me through that whole thing, told me what I had to do. Uh, we had to use him up a little bit, but we had to do what we had to do. We had to get this win. Uh, Connor Brian, his health is not great. Uh, he's not here with us today, uh, so this one's for him. John, I know it means a lot to pick up the win for him, the team, but also at the World Series. Picking up a big win like this at the 58th annual, it's going to feel good. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, you know, we had one goal to come here and win. Uh, this car was brand new for this season. Uh, we were excited to run the year, um, but we're just glad to park in Victor Lane here.